We are eagerly awaiting the new school year and preparing the class of 2023 for their final year of school. We look forward to our community-wide annual Back to School Bash, which always provides us a positive start to the school year. It will be held at the Moosehart Activity Center, the MAC, on August 17th. We are forever grateful to our Moose family for their overwhelming support and generosity in providing the MAC for all of our campus programs. Our campus has benefited greatly, and the variety of activities the MAC provides is unbelievable. You, the Moose who make it happen, provided us the funds to develop a new facility, and we are grateful you made it happen. Mooseart is committed to filling our workforce with family teachers and staff who can make an impact with our students. We are proud to be a premier residential child care facility and the largest one in Illinois. Currently, we continue to experience shortages of family teachers. Staffing remains at the forefront of daily responsibilities. We are grateful for employees who stand in the gap to provide for each child. Family teachers are the direct care providers in each home. They are responsible for their assigned home and the students. Current family teacher Katie Riddle has a 12-year Mooseheart legacy. Let's listen as she talks about what it's like being a family teacher. Good evening, everyone. In September of 2010, I said yes to becoming a family teacher at Mooseheart. I remember my first time on campus taking a tour of the grounds. I knew instantly that I was going to live there, though I wasn't sure for how long. I was, asked, I was asked to commit to two years, but 12 years later, I've met my commitment and don't plan on going anywhere soon. Um, I'm what we call a lifer. <laughs> In those 12 years, I've worked with five supervisors, 11 living coworkers, and over 50 elementary school boys. I like to tell people that Mooseheart is what you make it. You could make it a job, just some place you show up to five days a week and get a paycheck. You could make it a happy passing thought, just some place you've heard about and gives you warm, happy feelings when you scroll past a picture on Facebook. You can make it your mission, a place you visit, support, and make better. I made it my home and my family. I started at Mooseheart when I was 22 years old. I was not a student at Mooseheart, but I still tell people that Mooseheart helped raise me. I came to Mooseheart wide-eyed and inexperienced and grew into a competent, confident adult. Mooseheart taught me how to run a household, manage finances, and complete paperwork and reports. I learned how to make and keep an effective schedule for seven elementary boys, how to prepare food for nine people, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and how to successfully schedule and attend countless doctors and specialist appointments. I learned how to accept feedback without taking it personally, and to accept compliments and actually believe them. I learned how to advocate for my Mooseheart youth, my coworkers, and myself. And none of that compares to what the 50 elementary boys taught me. I've lived the last 12 years with boys ages 5 to 11 years old, and they've taught me more than I could ever imagine. Some of it useful, and, <laughs> and some of it less useful. They taught me how not to sweat the small stuff, and how to accept that being loud is just a part of being eight years old. They taught me how to throw a football and rip a Beyblade. They taught me how to make fufu, an African dish, and that my tuna noodle casserole is lip smacking, <laughs> which is apparently the height of compliments. They taught me that all Pokemon are not named Pikachu, there is a pink one named Jigglypuff, and that Bob Ross and Mary Poppins are timeless. They taught me that a Band-Aid and a drink of water can cure almost any ailment. They taught me that no matter how old you are, Bathroom jokes are hilarious, and dad jokes are not, <laughs> but they actually are. They tell me that little things I take for granted are actually special and worthy of celebrating, like a bed that you don't have to share. 
three meals every single day, and pants that actually cover your ankles. They taught me that no matter your background or history, coming to Mooseheart can change your life. They taught me that family comes in all shapes and sizes. Mooseheart has become my second family and a wonderful support system. My supervisors, coworkers, and Mooseheart friends have seen me through 12 years of life. They celebrated with me and suffered through seeing hundreds of photos when I became an aunt for the first time in 2020. They listened and supported and helped me take the time off I needed when my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2019. They were caring and patient with me when I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2018. They were a shoulder to cry on when my grandpa passed away in 2015 and when a friend and fellow family teacher passed away in 2013. I met my very best friend at Mooseheart along with several other friends I can't imagine my life without. Our fearless leader and director, Gary Erweiler, often tells us to do life together. Life at Mooseheart and life in general isn't always easy. There are ups and downs, highs and lows, laughs and tears. A moment of doing life together that I will never forget happened on May 12, 2019, Mother's Day. Holidays are always special at Mooseheart. We celebrate some of them big and some of them small, but we always celebrate. On this particular, mother, particular Mother's Day, a young man was living with me who had lost his mother and grandmother both in a car accident a few years prior. My heart broke for him as the other boys in the home called their mothers and wished them a happy Mother's Day. I wanted him to have a moment to celebrate and remember his mom too. I picked out some flowers from the store and invited the young man's siblings to join us. We went down to a little brook by the Mooseheart Lake. The kids had a flower in each hand. They all chose a green flower because that was their mother's favorite color. They stood together on the bridge watching the water as I played a song on my phone. I told them they could pray, think about their favorite memories of their mom, or just listen to the music. When they were ready, they each threw their flowers into the brook and watched them float away. I said a prayer and we left. Nothing big, just a simple celebration. On the way home, the kids chatted about nothing in particular, but seemed to be enjoying a little family time together. A few minutes later, the young man I lived with stopped, turned to me and said, I really enjoyed that. For this moment, and countless others like it, I love doing life at Mooseheart, with the staff, the students, and the amazing Moose members around the world. Thank you for doing life with us, with Mooseheart. Thank you for making Mooseheart a place of love and support, not only for the students that need it most, but for the family teachers and staff that work and live there as well. Thank you for being a part of my family. I'm so proud to be a part of this loving and caring organization that does life together every day. Thank you. During Katie's dedicated career, she has worked with energetic and challenging elementary boys. Last year, Katie received the Katherine Hershey Award for House Parent of the Year from the Coalition of Residential Excellence, which is comprised of residential child care facilities across the nation. This award recognized her as someone who makes it happen and invests in the lives of the children in her care. Katie is an individual dedicated to both Mooseheart and the children she serves. We are thankful to have her. Our Human Resource Department and recruiter are consistently looking for committed staff just like Katie. We believe shortages will end and continually work toward being fully staffed. This will result in reopening homes and serving more children. This will take some time, but we are committed toward reaching our goal. We thank you for your patience, and if you know of anyone who would make a great family teacher, please let us know. In closing, I thank you Thanks for your thoughtfulness, efforts, persistence, determination, drive, and compassion for others. What you mean to Mooseheart cannot be matched. This is why we are able to make an impact, because of you. Thank you for all of your support. Have a great rest of your conference, 
and God bless Mooseheart.